The easing of sanctions came as Mali's military junta indicated willingness to hold elections earlier. Mali's military rulers want to have echoes on their side as they deal with huge security and economic challenges. After uh, uh, discussion, the head of state took uh, the following decision. The first uh, decided to lift all the economic and financial sanctions that were uh, taken on January 9, 2022. Easing ECOWAS economic and financial blockade will be welcomed by people in landlocked Mali. This will mean the resumption of cross-border trade and air travel with Mali's neighbors and beyond. This eventually could lead to closer cooperation with the bloc in tackling insecurity. I would like to thank you. This was highlighted at the opening of the summit when Ghanaian President Nana Akufo-Addo voiced the collective concern of member states. These terrorist attacks are now not only focusing on the Sahel, but also expanding to the coastal states in our region. It is imperative for us to continue to implement our regional action plan against terrorism and to coordinate our various security initiatives. But while the intervention in Mali brings hope, similar attempts at mediation failed in Guinea, forcing the ECOWAS envoy to quit for lack of progress. In contrast to Guinea, we see that in Mali and in Burkina Faso, the military authorities are engaging at high political level with ECOWAS envoys, and that is a positive sign towards finding uh, a mutually agreed transition uh, to democratic governance. ECOWAS also agreed to give Burkina Faso two years to transition back to democracy and is pulling out its stabilization force in Guinea-Bissau after a successful deployment. Ahmed Idris, Al Jazeera, Accra, Ghana.